Tagal na rin po ako hindi nakapagsimba. Ganun palang pakiramdam ng nagsisimba. The 5 p.m. Mass was always celebrated with me, especially during the pandemic. But this afternoon, I have requested Monsignor Bravo, Director and Parish Priest of the Cathedral, to celebrate the Eucharist because we are going to launch a book from sunrise to sunrise. Is there ever a time in our life when we do not need the Lord? There is not. Is there a time during the day or during the night when the Lord does not speak to us? There is not. But how come we do not hear the Lord? If we do not hear the Lord, it is not because the Lord is not talking. It is because we are not listening. The Lord is always there. The Lord is always talking. But we are not always listening. I can assure you that the book is beautiful. And I am very proud to tell you that Monsignor Bravo worked very well on its beauty. I really believe that it is beauty that attracts people to the Lord, not logic. It is beauty that makes people remember God, not wise argumentation or debates. The other religions can debate with us, but we Catholics, we can offer beauty. In the light, there is beauty. In the shadow, there is beauty. In the works of art, there is beauty, and beauty is everywhere. And when you see beauty, you know that God is there. So my only message for you is, buy the book and keep it. And teach your children and your grandchildren that beauty is from God. And beauty at night may be different from the beauty during the day, may be different from the beauty at noontime, may be different from the beauty at sunset or sunrise. But all beauty, 24 hours every day, is from the Lord. From sunrise to sunrise, it is the Lord. Kung wala yung ibang tao na tumulong para matapos to, hindi ko magagawang mag Yung wala yung middle initial ko, yung wala yung junior sa pangalan ko, it should be because there are other people who helped in the production of this book. And I'd like to thank them. Pag mababasa nyo doon sa libro yung mga poems sa Tagalog, yan ay contribution ni Father Dondon Di Maano. Ang mga nagpicture nag-provide ng mga pictures from 3 a.m. up to 2 a.m. the following day. Can you imagine that? Ano? This was the time of the lockdown. Talagang walang, walang tao. The cathedral is really empty. And these people, ano, they really sacrificed a lot para makapag-picture ng mga magaganda dito sa cathedral. But these are done by Nong and MG and their companions at St Sabin Studios. Yung mga poems sa Pangasinan uh, relaying the parts of the life and ministry of Jesus, iba-ibang pare ang gumawa niyan. Most Reverend Fidelis Layog, Monsignor Oliver Mendoza, Father Mario Morales, Father Anthony Layog, Father Alan Abuan, Father Mario Sanchez, Father Winston Estrada, and Mrs. Juliana Bravo. The man behind this, yung inspiration, yung nag-push, walang iba naman si Archbishop. Beauty is from the Lord. The sunrise is from the Lord. The sunset is from the Lord. The darkness, the light is from the Lord. Everything is from the Lord and blessed be the Lord.